week. AMC 2022 12A, problem number 16, American Mathematics Competition. We want to solve this problem. This problem has important idea in number theory that when we have product of two numbers equal to perfect square two times perfect square it's so much useful in bmo british mathematical olympiad and other math exams so let's see the problem is what and the idea useful for this problem is what it says a triangular number is a positive integer that can be expressed in the form tn equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 2 n for some positive integer n, the three smallest triangular numbers that are also perfect squares are t1, because t1 is 1, is 1 squared, t8. If you check t8, it will be 1 plus 2, t8. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And it has a formula, so much useful and basic. 1 to n is n times n plus 1 over 2. And the proof is with Gauss idea. Gauss idea also useful in other things like IMO. If you want to know Gauss idea is what, you can send message to my WhatsApp number. Okay. So 1 to 8 is what? 8 times 8 plus 1, 9 over 2, 36, which is 6 squared here. So T8 is again perfect square. T49, if you calculate T49, it's 1 to 49. And if you use the formula n times n plus 1 over 2, 49 times 50 over 2. It will be 49 times 25. 49 is 7 squared. 25 is 5 squared. So it will be 35 squared. And it is exactly this. It says what is the sum of? The digits of the fourth smallest triangular number that is also a perfect square. So why the problem says sum of digits? It doesn't say the number is what? Because if it says the number, you can check the choices, for example, from a small one, and you can solve the problem with find the choice without solving the problem. That's the reason in some problem you will see they say product of digits, sum of digits, something like that. And then we are not able to use the choices. So let's solve the problem. Tn, which is 1 to n, we said is n times n plus 1 over 2, which is perfect square. For example, it is x squared. So if you multiply by 2, n times n plus 1 is 2x squared. n and n plus 1 are relatively prime numbers. Okay, their GCD is 1. Is 1. So, the reason is what? You should know something about GCD divisibility. Also, without them, for example, you can say if N is multiple of D, for example, if the GCD is D, if N is multiple of D, for example, it is DN1, N plus 1 is multiple of D, DN2. And if you subtract 1, is D times N1 n2 minus n1 and because n gcd always positive by the definition d can only be one because product of two positive integer equal to one so it's the only possible case one times one so we proved that the gcd is one but for other problems finding gcd sometimes is a little harder but it has a strategy again if you want to learn that strategy send message to my whatsapp number and let's see next step we can do what in next step, we say, okay, they are relatively prime number. Because they are relatively prime number, we can consider that one of them is two times a perfect square. Another one, let me tell you, case one, n is perfect square, for example, y squared and n plus one. Because two goes in one of them and x squared, you should divide. But because they are relatively prime, x squared, for example, is what? two to for example, 3 to the 8, 5 to the 12. Because these two numbers are relatively prime, each of them goes exactly to one of them. For example, we can not say 3 to the 8, 3 to the 5 goes to this, 3 to the 3 goes to this, because they are relatively prime. They don't have any common factor. So each of them goes to one of them. So one of them is perfect square. The case that 2 goes to that, these two will be two times perfect square. So we should consider two cases, which of them is perfect square. N is perfect square, N plus one is two times, for example, Z squared. Case two. 
n is 2 times w squared, n plus 1, for example, is m squared. Okay, let's analyze these two cases. In this case, n is perfect square. In this case, n is m squared minus 1. Okay. Now, here n is even because n is 2 times that. And from if you consider n is even this, you conclude m is odd because it is this is squared minus 1, n is even, so m is squared should be odd, so m is odd. Now, here, because n plus 1 is even from here, so n is odd. Because n is y squared, y is odd. Okay? So, in each case, if we analyze, we will see that. In first case, n is the square of odd number. In this case, n is a square of odd number minus 1. So, we should focus on a square of odd numbers. So, from what place we should start? If we consider 5 squared, because we know that. Here it is 49, n is 49. We should start after 7. So if we check, for example, for 7 squared, and this one 7 squared minus 1. So 49, 48. We know up to 49 we've checked, and the third one is this. So we should start from 9. So n can be what numbers that we should check? 9 squared, 9 squared minus 1. So we should check these n's. n is 80, 9 squared minus 1, 81. The next one we should check 11 squared. Minus 1, 120, 121. The next case we should check 168, 13 squared. Minus 1, 13 squared. 17, uh, 15 squared, 224. Uh, 15 squared, 225, minus 1. 289. Minus 1, 2, 8, 8, 2, 8, 9. So we should check these numbers. Let's see. If n is 80, it means that it is 9 squared minus 1. Okay? So, n should be 2 times a perfect square. So it's 2 times 40. So look, let me explain again. n is 80, it is this case. 9 squared minus 1, m is 9. And here... We said n plus 1 is perfect square. Yes, n plus 1 is 81, but n also should be 2 times perfect square. But in this case, we will see it's 2 times 40, and it is not 40 is not perfect square. Now, let's check the next one, 81. We have this case. n plus 1 should be 2 times perfect square in this case. So we conclude 82 is 2 times perfect square, but it is 2 times 41, which 41 is not perfect square. Now, this one. Again, like 80, it is 2 times 60, it's not perfect to square 60. Or 1 to 1, it's 1 to 2, it's 2 times 61, which is not, again, 61, not perfect to square. This one, 2 times 84, 84 is not perfect to square. If you add by 1, 170 is 2 times 85, 85 is not perfect to square. This one is 2 times 112, 112 is not perfect to square. 2 to 6 is 2 times 113, it's not perfect to square. 288 is 2 times 144. It's good. Why? Because we will see that uh, 288 is 2 times 144, which 144 is 12 squared. So we found the next n. The next n is 288. Okay. And the problem once what? Let's read it again. It says, what is the sum of the digits of the fourth smallest triangular number? So we should calculate t. 288 and find some of the digits. T 288 by applying this formula is what? Is 288 times 289 and times m plus 1 over 2. If we divide, it will be 144. Now let's multiply here 289 times 144. 4 times 9. 36, we have 3, 4 times 8, 32, plus 3, 35, we have 3, 4 times 2, 8, plus 3, 11. Again, 4, next one will be 6, 5, 1, 1, again, 1, this one, 1, 9, 8, 2, 6, 6, plus 5, 11, we have 1, 1, plus 1, 2, 2, plus 5, 7, plus 9, 16, we have 1, 1, plus 1, 2, 2, plus 1, 3, 3, plus 8, 11, we have 1, so, 
the answer is 4, 41, 61, 6. And the problem wants some of the digits. So if you want to calculate, let's erase this part, some of the digits. Answer. It's 4 plus 1 plus 6 plus 1 plus 6, which is 4 plus 1, 5 plus 6, 11 plus 1, 12, 12 plus 6, 18. So we found 18. Let's check the choices. The choice, right choice is D. Okay. So if you want, this idea is useful in number theory, the thing I applied here, and reach case 1, case 2. If you want to learn these important things, you can send message to my WhatsApp number. Feel free to send message. And please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, and like the video. Thanks. Bye.